Sunderland 3, Aston Villa 1. Carlos Heel's effort gave the villains some hope, but a Jermaine Defoe double sentenced the away side to another defeat. Kem McNaught, a miserable way to start the year. Yeah, very much so, Jack. I mean, it was all false hope, wasn't it? When we, Adama came on, it was what we were looking for, a bit of pace to worry the Sunderland back for. He did the job, got behind the full-back, put in a, our only quality cross, and what a finish by Carlos Hill. But, you know, we, we're not doing it all the time. That was the one moment in 90 minutes. And unfortunately for us, Sunderland had three moments. Yeah, what was your view on the goals conceded? Uh, well, we all know what Jermaine Defoe is good at, and that's scoring goals. So you, you, stop, you stop the ball from getting into his feet in the penalty box. You keep him outside the penalty box. But uh, unfortunately, Julian let him turn. And once, once he turned, you knew that he was going to shuffle his feet and get a shot off. Uh, and, you know, I mean, whether Brad had any know about the, the ball, the shot, I mean, the ball was past him before, before he knew it. The first goal was an unfortunate goal. Um, whether it was hitting the target, I don't know. But uh, it took a wicked deflection off Micah Richards, yeah. who, you know, give him his due, was trying to, try to block the shot. Came off the sole of his boot, Guzan had gone the other way, you know. But uh, you've got to deal with these things. You've got to yeah. deal with them and get on with it and, and, and reverse it if you yeah. can. Well, Remy, at one all, that game was in the balance, but a, a desperately disappointing way to end it. What's your overall verdict? Disappointment, of course, because uh, we have lost a game which was very important for both teams. And unfortunately, uh, we go out without points and uh, it's a very bad operation. The result is one, but then if you look at the game, uh, we can not only be disappointed. I mean, uh, we were very close to, to our opponent today. Like every time, of course, the third goal is quite uh, anecdotic because he was uh, scored very late and we try to, to push him to be back. Then uh, I'm like the player, frustrated and disappointed, but uh, we have still to, to carry on and to believe because mathematically we have still the chance and uh, the, the winter break, if not the, the transfer window, sorry, will be very important for us. The equaliser was a fantastic goal and, you, and it did give you the momentum at that point how frustrating was it you couldn't push on no you know at half time uh, i told to the player that uh, of course we we were done by by a goal <clears throat> but then uh, i saw i'm was sure that uh, we had some opportunity in second half because uh, we play quite a uh, good football in the first half and i knew that uh, we could have some opportunities in second half that's what happened but then after that we conceded another Let's say another goal, and uh, when you concede so many goals, it's difficult, uh, especially away.